Hello and welcome developers. My name is Shay and this is another episode of Shay Develops. This episode is brought to you by a viewer because they asked me a question because I created a reading a file uh, using the java.io package video and I didn't go into specifics on how to read uh, numbers in an IO file. Now you can, like I said, as a string and it'll just output the numbers as you were. But what if you wanted to convert those numbers into into text? So that's exactly what we're going to do here in this video. So I'm going to make this a little bigger so you guys can see it. I'll go ahead and get rid of this. And we're going to use a try with resources uh, in this video. If you're not familiar with those, you can go back and watch my video on try with resource or try catch with resources. And basically, it's just you input an object or a um, a resource like a buffered reader or something like that that works with a file, and it takes that and then automatically closes the connection to that file at the end of uh, at the end of the try catch statement. So the first thing we're going to do though is create a is create a path. Well, actually, the first thing we need to do is create some files. So let's go in here and we're going to right click on your uh, your main project here and we're going to go to a new file and I'm going to call it numbers.txt and it's going to input some numbers here and then save that and then I'm going to do one more and I'm going to call it mixed.txt and we're going to do there we go some numbers and some uh, text there. Okay, so let's go ahead and create a, a file object and we'll call this one uh, path equals new file. And so the first one I'm, I just want to connect to will be, uh, we'll just do numbers, right? Numbers. Oh, I need to put this as a string. So it'll be numbers.txt. There we go. And then now let's go ahead and continue on with our uh, try catch with resources. So we'll do buffered reader, we'll call it BR equals new buffered reader. And then we need to do a new file reader. And then we're going to pass it the path. All right, so so far though, we got an error here because we're not, we haven't caught this error yet which we can do that right now. Just click add catch clause. And now we get the file not found and the IO exception that automatically popped up for us. Thank you uh, IntelliJ for doing that. So we don't have to write out those lines. And now let's actually read the data and then do, uh, do something with it. So the first thing we could do here is just do string line Create a string, and then we can do a while loop. While line equals br dot read line. That's going to read the line, and then we're going to output that to the uh, to the screen here. While that does not equal null, go ahead and run this. So we could just do output line right here, and that should do uh, output the the numbers dot text as a string value down here in our command line it's building just taking just a second all right and there we go see now we have outputting our values here but what was asked though is we want to take these numbers and print them as words so five we don't want to print the number five, we want to print the word five. So how would we do something like that? Well, we could, and I'm sure there's a few different ways to do this, but here's the way that I came up with. We're going to create a char array, and I'm just going to call it A. And then within our while statement, go ahead and get rid of this, we don't need that anymore. We'll do A equals line because we're taking the the string uh th that we created and we're going to do two char array and that creates a character array and it's going to save it into our character array called a 
and then from there we can loop through that character array with a for loop because oh, we can do something like a dot length to get the length of our character array and then now we could just output a and then the uh, the index of a because we are in an array and that's going to get us a little closer to what we want go ahead and run this again so you guys can see and there we go now we got all our numbers being printed out and we if we open up numbers here uh, 564 is our last one 564 and then uh, 546 is the first that's interesting all right that's not quite what we want though so the next part is we're going to put in a switch statement if you're not familiar with the switch statement i got a video on that you guys can take a look at that uh, but they're fairly simple so we're going to do switch and we're going to pass in uh, a value from our character array whichever one that we're currently on within the for loop so we'll do that and now we need some cases so we could do case and because we're working with characters and not integer values, we can't do something like this where it's all oh, case okay, zero and then output zero and then do a break. We can't do that. We actually have to make this a character, which is determined by the single quote mark uh, quotation marks that says, hey, Java, this is a character and not a string and not an integer. So we've got the first case. Now we're going to make a uh, from 0 all the way to 9 so we can copy this oh I messed up right there fix that real quick okay and then we're going to so we got what, 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and now I just need to update all these real quick so we got 1 2 3 We'll go ahead and close this for right now so you get a little more screen real estate. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, and then now update these real quick. Yeah, one, two, three. All the way to 10. Or all the way to 9, excuse me. And 9. There we go. And we don't need a default for this particular one because if it's not a number, we don't want it to print out anything. So we can just leave it uh, as it is. Okay, so now that we have this case or this switch that checks for these values, as we print them out though, this should print out uh, our numbers here. So we're gonna start with our numbers.txt. We're gonna run it. And there we go. Five, four, six, five, four, six, five, four, one, two, two, three, and so forth and so on. Which is great, I mean, that's exactly what uh, that was requested of us and that's how you would read a file and then turn the value or the the numerical values into the words that associated with those numerical values so what if we have like a mixed file so we've got this mix.txt here with both numbers and letters so let's go back in here and let's see if it still works with those or, or see if it messes up it should still work though so let's go ahead and test it out though we're gonna run it it's gonna build and then it still works exactly the same. We got five, four, five, six, four, and we can go back here to mixed, and we got five, four, five, six, four, six. So five, four, five, six, four, six. All right, guys, so that is a really short video here. Hopefully you guys learned something. And to you that I made this video for, hopefully you've learned something. If not, let me know in the comments and I will try and make this as clear as possible. And hopefully you guys are having a great day during this time, staying safe, learning as much as you can, educating yourself, 
and just being the best person or the best possible version of yourself that you can each day. All right, so if you guys though could do me a huge favor, leave a like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you're working on, tell me how you guys are, or what, well, how I can help you pretty much. And with my videos, I've got some great content coming out. I've got courses coming out, and I've got a new website that's going to be launching very soon. Uh, but until then, you guys, I hope y'all are having a great day, and I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all take care.